to leave, but I don't want to leave the front door unlocked. But if I ask someone to lock up behind me, they'll want to know where I'm going. I guess I might have to tell Elisa where I'm going after all. Will you be stepping out? Uh, Sh Sharon? <laughs> There's no need to explain. That glimmer in your eyes tells me all I need to know. Not to worry, Master Reen. Your secret's safe with me. So enjoy your night to the fullest. Wait, what? You have a date with a fetching young lady, don't you? I'll make sure no one notices your absence, especially my lady. Just be certain you're back by morning. I assure you, I'm not that lucky. I just got word that this acquaintance of mine was visiting Roar. And they wanted to catch up a bit, so I was going to slip out and see them for a little while. <laughs> Very well then, I'll lock up behind you. I'd also be glad to help you build an ironclad alibi. No one would think twice, even if you were to stay out all night. I appreciate the thought, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Anyway, I'll be back later. Of course. Take care. still see quite a few people working. I guess it comes with the territory, working for the world's largest industrial manufacturer. Whoops. I thought so. Hey! Why are you running away? I'm surprised you noticed me. I was trying pretty hard to be stealthy. <sighs> How long were you hiding there? Wait. Have you been trailing me ever since I left the penthouse? Well, I saw you slip out. So, where are you going? Are you really headed out for a late night romantic rendezvous? <sighs> what kinds of lies has Sharon been feeding you anyway? Okay, here's what's up. Totally sounds like a rendezvous. Sorry, I shouldn't have interfered. Whoa, whoa, it's not like that. <sighs> well, you know everything I know about it now. Why don't you come too? You sure? No reason not to. It sounded like whatever info she's got has something to do with our field study. And honestly, I wasn't all that keen on having a one-on-one -on -one with a military officer to begin with. Gotcha. But first, I want to walk around a bit. After we've been walking around all day? Whenever I come to a new city, I always like to get a feel for what it's like during the day and the night. I feel kind of uneasy if I don't. Oh, right. It must be a Jaeger thing. 
All right, I'll join you for a little stroll. I don't want to keep the captain waiting too long, though. Will once around town be enough? That'll be fine. Okay, let's roll. By the way, did you happen to run into Sharon on your way out? She saw me leaving, but she just let me go. Hmm. Even the best maids aren't that all-knowing. seem oddly cautious. Yeah, wonder if it has something to do with the RMP.
city's got a nice feel at night. Yeah, it's really pretty. This was some kind of classy bar, I think? Seems pretty lively in there.
This is where Claire said to meet her, right? Yeah, this looks like the place. sense that she wouldn't come here in uniform. The charms of an older woman, eh? I think I'll manage. Sorry I kept you waiting. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I kind of ran into her on the way here and told her she could come along. That's not a problem, is it? Not at all. I assume you've been surveying the town while acting as Rain's bodyguard. Sounds like you've done your homework. The intelligence division has told me a little. Anyway, I think we might attract a little too much attention if we stay at the counter. What do you say we get a table for three? It's good to see you both. I think this may be the first time we've been able to have a proper conversation. You may be right. I was hoping I'd get the chance to sit down and talk with you too, actually. Oh? You sure you don't want me to go? That's not what I mean. I have a lot of questions. Like, about why Milliam transferred into our class, for example. But there's one really fundamental question that would go a long way toward answering a lot of the others. What exactly is it that you and Chancellor Osborne are trying to accomplish? Let's look at that standoff at the Provincial Army earlier this evening. It's hard for me to feel much sympathy for them after they drove armored cars right into the middle of the city. But maintaining order in the provinces is generally accepted to be the duty of the Provincial Armies. Maybe it's just me, but it seemed an awful lot like you were just trying to provoke them by belittling their authority. It did look like your people were picking a fight. Viewed without the proper context, I can see how it might look like that. But right now, the factional conflict in the Empire is nearly at its breaking point. Crossbell is buzzing with talk of independence, and Halvard is still weathering its immigration disputes. In such volatile times, there's a very real need to create a far more expansive network to help maintain public order. The only organizations that are up to the challenge are the Railway Military Police and the Intelligence Division. That may be the case. Still, your boss is the one making those conflicts worse. I can't deny that. 
but at the very least, the Chancellor is acting with a sense of integrity. He hasn't stooped so low as to give aid to terrorists unlike some others I could name. I want you to at least understand that. Wait, so... Wow, she really said it. So the noble faction's been the one backing the terrorists, huh? I'm afraid there's no longer any doubting it. We've all but confirmed the involvement of Duke Cayenne, the most prominent representative of the four great houses. The three airships the Imperial Liberation Front have been using have been traced back to Ordis as well. I'd wondered how they got their hands on those. I've heard the Duke is just a gaudy old man, but... Eustace's brother came to pick him up in Lagram, didn't he? That's what Toval told us. And now, Rufus just so happens to pop up on another of his secret trips. Captain Clare, what's going on in Ruhr? And how are Elisa's family and the Reinford Company involved? I guess it's time to get to the matter I called you here for in the first place. The Railway Military Police is currently weighing the possibility of a forced inspection of Reinford's first factory. Sounds serious. The first factory belongs to one of Reinford's major divisions, right? Correct. It's one of the main divisions and handles the bulk of the company's iron and steel processing, among other things. They're also currently under suspicion of something I'm not at liberty to discuss with you right now. The two of you are aware that project management at Reinford is split up across several major branches, right? It is? And on top of that, she's got her hands in the development of our Arcus units, too. It's way too much work for one person. How many projects does Mother have under her wing right now? Well, I'm afraid I can't give a simple answer to that. But suffice to say, the Chairman only knows about a small number of the projects in development by the Reinford Group. Well, lately, the Directors have... Come to think of it, I overheard Elisa and Sharon talking about something like that. For years now, Reinford has been the Empire's heavyweight when it comes to heavy industry and manufacturing. The company is split into different divisions that handle things like steel production, railways, weaponry, and tools. The problem is that those divisions have simply become too large. Large enough to have their own internal allegiances, some to the nobles, with others supporting the reformist faction. Uh, are you serious? So even companies are taking sides. I'm sure Arena Reinford is aware of this to at least some extent as the company's chairman, but the self-supporting accounting system she introduced has the side effect of granting each division a long leash. Because of that, I doubt even she has a full grasp of the situation. So, the first factory you guys have your sights set on for that inspection is aligned with the noble faction, I assume. You assume correctly. And the provincial army is doing everything it can to stop us from carrying out that investigation. That's what led to this evening's quarrel. I imagine Chairman Arena is currently doing her utmost to rein in all the divisions and get them back in line. The thing is, when she seized control of the company five years ago, she had to rely on support from both sides. Being indebted to them like that, I have my doubts she'll be able to target the underlying problem. It's sounding shadier by the minute. You can say that again. The situation seems even more dire than I thought. And while all this is going on, the factional conflict keeps burning hot across the rest of the Empire. I've told you as much as I can right now. Tensions are mounting all over the country, but Ruhr has an extra fuse of its own. Try to gain an understanding of the crisis unfolding here, then do your best to stay out of it. Whatever other lessons Class 7 takes away from this field study, I hope that ends up on the list. <laughs> I wish you the best with the remainder of your field study. Please have the bill sent to the Railway Military Police Branch Office in Ruhr Station. Certainly. Enjoy the rest of your evening.
Wait, the bill! Looks like she just picked up our tab. She gave us some good intel, too. For free, even. <sighs> I can't just go running after her now. Looks like we owe her one. So, you like the mature type, huh? She's sort of like Sarah. Except responsible and composed. You can say that again. Oh. Must be yours. Hello? Reen Schwarzer speak. Reen? What are you doing? Oh, it's just you, Elisa. Well, what do you mean, it's just you? Is it true some girl invited you out for a night on the town? Whoa, hold on. A late night date. I thought you only had eyes for me, Reen. <laughs> anyway, good job, kiddo. You better spill all the details later, huh? He'll do no such thing! Now, now, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. He was with him, too. Still, it was rash of you to go out on your own without at least consulting us. Ready to head back? Yeah, I think that'd be for the best. Drinks are on me someday! Time has come. First hype, then crossbow. Now one shall be the third to witness our conviction. Hmm. As you wish. We'll hit them so hard, they'll be picking up the pieces for weeks! You heard the boss, man! Tomorrow's a red letter day for us. A real do or die moment. In every sense of the word. All our preparations will be rewarded soon, when we sweep in and take the Chancellor's head. Keep your eyes on the prize, and give it all you've got! 